Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on what to do if you are always hungry. Now there is nothing worse than being always hungry, like that feeling where you just want to eat off your arm or you're like, oh man, that paper bag over there looks really tasty. So I'm going to give you some tips today on what to do if you're always hungry because Really, we shouldn't be hungry. Even if the goal is weight loss, we still shouldn't be hungry. We should be building really nourishing meals. So my first tip is to actually make sure that you're eating enough. And I know a lot of people will be watching this video and their goal is weight loss, but still with weight loss, we don't want to put ourselves in too large of a deficit that we constantly feel hungry. Because guess what? We've only got a certain amount of willpower and that willpower is going to fade eventually and we're going to end up just going and like having a big binge or going and just eating a huge amount of food and basically ruining our chances of actually losing weight. So the goal is to not ever feel starving. Hunger is a natural feeling and sensation. It's perfectly okay, but the goal is to naturally feel hungry, but know that we have a meal or snack available within, I would say, at least the next hour. What we don't want is to be eating a snack or eating a meal and then still feeling hungry afterwards. So the first point is to really ensure that you are eating enough. And what this means is that we need to um, basically make sure that after we finish a meal, we feel nice and satisfied. We don't have to feel feel necessarily full and I don't like that I guess that word of full because a lot of people and particularly a lot of Aussies we overeat we eat too much so we don't necessarily need to feel full or stuffed after our meals but the goal is to eat until we feel what I like to say 80% full or 80% satisfied so the goal is to feel nice and satisfied after a meal not stuffed or over full so we want to make sure that we're eating enough the second point if you're always hungry is to probably make sure you're not over exercising so the more exercise we do naturally the hungrier we'll be particularly if we're doing more resistance based training or that hit that high intensity interval training that really makes us feel hungry so I've had clients before that are exercising twice a day and they say to me Leanne I am starving I'm hungry all day long guess what guys because you're over exercising unless you're like an elite high level athlete and that is your training load and your training demands and I promise you you probably need to be eating well over 3,000 calories if you're an elite athlete who has that type of training demand the majority of us do not need to train twice a day or even every single day. I myself, I used to do before I had my baby Mia, I used to do about four or five days uh, in the gym each week and then two or three rest days a week as well because rest is actually incredibly important for your body. And on a rest day, I don't necessarily mean that I lie in bed and I don't do anything. I might just go for a gentle walk. It might be a really low intensity, 45 minutes of walking or something like that. So for some people that might be exercise, but other people that might be a really low intensity, almost deload day. So we want to make sure that we're not over exercising because the more we exercise, the higher our hunger gets and if the goal is fat loss that's not actually ideal we don't always want to feel like we're completely starving the third tip to I guess control our hunger and make it more manageable is to make sure that we're building filling and nutritious meals we want an adequate serve of protein an adequate serve of fiber in our meals and typically that comes from our whole grains our veggies and our salad most of us aren't eating anywhere near enough veggies and salads the goal is um, to basically have at least two to three cups per meal I'm talking mostly our lunch and our dinner Brecky, it's really hard to get in but at least lunch and dinner we want a really good serve of quality carbohydrate in that meal and a really nice serve of healthy fat when we miss some of these components in a meal, say for example, we have a tuna salad every day. The salad part is great. The tuna part is good. That's obviously the protein. What we're lacking in that meal is a serve of healthy fat and also a serve of carbohydrate. So how we would balance that meal a little bit better, we could put some carb in there. We could put some roasted potatoes that we had for dinner the other night and throw them in there. We could put a little bit of brown rice. We could add a little bit of legumes or quinoa to that as well. And then to that tuna salad, we also need to add the healthy fat component. We can put a good drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, which is a wonderfully healthy fat. We can add some avocado to that meal, or we might like to add a little bit of cheese or some olives into the meal as well. So unless we're balancing our meals properly, we will probably generally feel hungry after meals, particularly if we're lacking the important component of protein, which really provides that satiety to a meal. So that nice feeling of fullness, all the amount of fiber from our salads and veggies in that meal as well. So protein and fiber are very, very important to meals but also the quality, healthy fats and the carbohydrates are equally important as well. If you always feel hungry, chances are you inhale your food. You eat far too quickly. If you find yourself going back for seconds or finishing a meal and going and raiding the pantry and thinking, oh, what can I eat now? I would really encourage you to take at least 20 minutes, if not longer, to actually finish and complete your meal because your body or your brain doesn't actually, I guess, realize or recognize that you've even had food unless it's been at least 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, your, your gut can signal up to your brain, hey, I've had some food, I'm feeling nice and safe. 
satisfied, you can turn on those fullness regulations or those fullness hormones. So the body will release two types of hormones, the satiety hormone and the fullness and satisfaction type hormone. Um, and those hormones don't get really switched on or turned on in the body unless it's been about 20 minutes research shows us. So slow down, chew your food properly and take the time to really enjoy that meal in order for your body to release those hormones that allow you to feel nice and full and satisfied after the meal. And the last point that I really want to make when it comes to hunger is to ensure that it's proper hunger. And what I mean by this is, is it tummy hunger or is it head hunger? So tummy hunger is when you're physically hungry. You would literally eat any food. If somebody offered you some celery and PB or some apple or some popcorn or a little bit of, um, I don't know, veggie sticks and dip, even if it's healthy food, you would eat it because you're genuinely hungry. What I like to call head hunger is that hunger where you're just craving something, where if somebody offered you some celery and hummus, you'd be like, mm, no thank you. Or if someone's like, hey, do you want a healthy tuna salad or a healthy chicken sandwich? You'd be like, no, thank you. I only want the chocolate that I'm craving. So head hunger isn't actually hunger. If you experience a lot of cravings and a lot of head hunger, there's obviously a lot of other things going on. For a lot of us, it comes down to some sort of emotion, like we've had a bad day, we're feeling sad, we might be lonely, um, we're feeling super stressed, maybe we want to reward ourselves, maybe we're just bored and we're procrastinating. That isn't genuine or what I call true tummy hunger. So really try to ask yourself, am I genuinely hungry? Would I eat? I'm so hungry that I would even eat healthy food or is the food I want one particular food only? Am I only craving junk food? That it basically is just a craving and I'm going to do a whole separate video on cravings, but we don't necessarily want to eat when we're experiencing a lot of cravings because we tend to overeat those types of foods as well. So really important to establish if it's true physical hunger, go and make yourself a nourishing meal. But if it's more of that head hunger, ask yourself what emotion it is you're experiencing and see if you can then go and fulfill that emotion in another way. If you're feeling bored, maybe go and um, do a puzzle or um, knit a sweater or go and wash your car, do your do your tax file numbers or you know do your filing for tax time. Or if um, that feeling or sensation is that you're super stressed and you've had a really busy work week, maybe go and do some meditation, go and take a yoga class, go and call your mum. I'm sure she would love to hear from you. So what we really want to try and establish is what emotion am I feeling and how else can I nourish that emotion with without actually using food. It's not to say that we can't have the chocolate or the chips or the ice cream that we're craving, but we don't want to do that at the heart of an emotion because we'll eat far too much of that and we're still not going to feel great afterwards because what our body was really looking for wasn't actually that food. It was asking us to do something else in terms of nourishing it. So we can go and have a warm bubble bath or go and do 20 minutes of meditation and then we can come back and have that food and chances are you're going to eat far less of a portion of that food because you've actually gone and worked from that emotion to start with. So I really hope guys that these tips around hunger have been really helpful for you. Probably the two biggest ones I feel like are um, for most of my clients and a lot of people who message me with questions on Instagram. My Instagram handle is um, at the fitness dietitian, FYI, if you want to follow me on Instagram. Probably the two biggest things that I feel like people struggle with the most are that they're just not eating enough and those meals aren't probably balanced or they experience a lot of that head hunger. So a lot of types of the cravings and the different types of emotions. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video today on hunger. If you have any comments or any questions or you want me to make any other videos for you guys, please leave a comment below. Make sure you listen to my new podcast, The Nutrition Couch Podcast. I've also got my other podcast, which is close to one and a half million downloads. It's the Leanne Ward Nutrition Podcast. There is over a hundred free episodes for you guys to listen from and learn all about nutrition on there. Give me a follow on TikTok. I'm at Leanne Ward Nutrition. Give me a follow on Instagram. I'm at The Fitness Dietitian and I will catch you guys in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to my new channel because there are plenty more videos coming very soon.